Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileen and we're going to tap into some love messages today, all right? Please do me a favor, take one second real quick right now, Pisces, and hit the like button, all right? I appreciate you guys, so thank you. I'm going to pull for two energies, Pisces. Obviously, one is yours. Use your discernment to see who the other energy is for you in today's reading, okay? Or focus on the person or energy that you are inquiring about today. All right, let's dig in. Okay, you have honesty here. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself, okay? You were unsure about something. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Ooh, I'm hearing the word restraint. So yeah, you can't control other people. So you are you are in the state of like practicing letting go of control can make this person say, you know, you it, it, and it's a really cool test, honestly. Are they the person, you know what I mean? Like, are they going to say that thing that you, you know, are wanting them to say or give you that feeling that you're looking for, right? It's better when it just comes organically, right? When you don't have to tell the person, right? Or you feel like you are trying to change them. Okay. And you have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone all right let's pull some energy for this other person here that you're dealing with who are we connecting to today for pisces all right their first card just fell they have patience i accept that everything happens in divine order so it feels like this person was keeping something from you or holding something from you or if it wasn't something particular that they were holding from you they were like holding back parts of themselves from you okay so you felt iced out or closed out from this person and it and it could have felt that uncertainty could have had you feeling like well are they hiding something like nefarious from me are they lying you know is there something i need to know type of thing and i think you really had to practice restraint there because that word keeps coming up all right they have doubt I release the need to know all the answers. Okay, Pisces, I'm seeing this. And two, 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 while I'm while I'm about to say this, whatever this is, is that this person can't inform you. They can't tell you or they can't give you all of them, whatever it is for you, because they don't know. They don't even know what the hell it is. They or or they don't even know who the hell they are. Or, you know, that that there's a sense of that there. So it's coming off to you, though, is like, oh, they're hiding something. They're being sneaky. They're lying. This person doesn't even have a damn clue what's going on or, you know. Okay. Oh, okay. And they have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. That's that's good. Okay. Let's get more specific with the tarot. I'm using the wandering star. Perfect. Honestly, here. Thank you. The Empress, love that, okay, Queen of Swords, so you knew your boundaries, right? Like you ask this person once, right? Or you're like, you know what, I'm asking twice and that's it. I ain't gonna keep pestering this person. I'm not gonna keep asking them the same question. They're gonna tell me when they're ready or that, you know, they're gonna show me this when they're ready. And, you know, you're trying to really have faith in that, you know, and really pull back and not be overbearing because that is Empress energy. You know, she's she's definitely not chasing Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, yeah. <laughs> now, I do see this Knight of Wands here, so this could be a change for you. And in the past, maybe you would have blown up, you know, or you would have been all up in a B's wax trying to figure it out, okay? <laughs> so, I mean, thank you, Spirit. The Nine of Cups, that's a Pisces card. Oh, okay, in the Page of Wands with the Creator card saying no, and the death card here. Yeah, I get that there is a sense like this person is like they can't tell you what you want to hear right now. That's what I'm getting. Bro, just straight up. It's like this person can't tell you what they what you want to hear right now. So for some of you, there could also be this feeling of like stalling that you're getting from this person or a sense of like procrastination that you feel you might be getting from this person. Like, you know, they keep putting something off or prolonging something. And it's like because they don't have the answer that they think you want to hear. Okay, and I don't know if you want to hear a specific thing from this person, um, but that is something that keeps coming up too. Yeah, four of swords here. And so, yeah, this person can come off as a little avoidant right now, but it's because they genuinely, like, they don't know. Whatever this is, they do not know. 
And again, if it's not a specific thing, they don't really know themselves enough to be able to offer you that, right? So if it's a, if it's a thing of like, I want you to open up to me more, you know, tell me about your child. It's like, they've never even gone there, you know, or, you know, they haven't been there in a while. They've locked that door and thrown the key away. So like, they don't even know how to access that to give it to you, you know? All right. Um... That there feels like a sense of shame, embarrassment, or humiliation that this person is feeling because of that, okay? Thank you. The three of wands here, okay. Temperance, I love that, all right? I was a little scared. <laughs> okay, some of you dealing with the Sag. Okay, could also be a Taurus. I like this because, again, as you're practicing discipline and not trying to, I guess, overstep this person's boundaries, um, you know, and be overbearing. You are, you know, exercising growth here as well. It feels like with the three of wands, temper, like you, you are also, this is beautiful for you because it's also helping you expand outside of this relationship. And so you might be picking up new hobbies. You might be traveling more. Okay. You might be getting deeper into your spirituality as well with the high, uh, excuse me, the hierophant and the temperance card. All right. A healthy distraction, so to speak. Yeah. The chariot and the world. Okay. Twenty five out card. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is about this person's employment or work or like uh, them going to school or something like that. Their achievements. Okay. Because the Eight of Pentacles comes out to clarify their doubt. Okay. So there is some insecurity around. Maybe they have some insecurity, maybe about like what they do for work or how much they can provide or what they're bringing to the table. Or again, if it's not that outside external tangible stuff, then how whole they are to come to the table just as they are. You know, there's an insecurity about that nine of swords exactly in the five of wands. And they feel like for whatever reason, that's not going to sit well with you. Okay, five of wands here. Like, I don't know, just them being honest or something. They feel like it's not going to sit right with you. Please tell me about uh, what, is, what is this? Are we allowed to know spirit? <laughs> what is this? Queen of Wands, Justice. Ah, uh, okay. And the Wheel of Fortune here. I really feel like this has a lot to do with this person's confidence and a lot of things that they said they wanted to manifest that they maybe not have. They maybe have. They've not seen it yet in the physical. Okay. And maybe you've not seen it yet in the physical justice, 10 of wands. They feel like it's a lot of pressure and a lot riding on them. Right. So if this is like, for example, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna have this new business and we're working on the contract right now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And maybe the contract fell through or is taking longer. Mercury is retrograde. And you're like, so what's up? What's going on? And they're feeling really insecure about it. They don't know if the contract's going to actually go through anymore. They promised you this stuff. And that's what this feels like. Okay. Okay. The sun, so you're dealing with the Leo, the emperor in reverse. Oh, oh my God. And the four of cups here. Wow. With the nine of freaking wands. That's crazy because your last card, right, is pride. And it's clarified by the sun, which is a Leo card, which literally represents pride. And you have the emperor in reverse and you could be dealing with an Aries as well. Yeah, it feels like, I don't know if this person, ah, growth card. Yeah, this person expresses this. They're going to be expressing it. And I feel like they'll be surprised by the support that you still offer them. You see what I'm saying? Like they, oh, this person could have felt like they, like they are embarrassing to you or something like, you know, oh, you don't want to be seen with me or something. And like, they're going to, they tell you this in the future and you're going to be like, that was it. Come on. Like, I got it. Like, let's go. You know, crazy. You got the girl <laughs> okay. King of wands in reverse four of pentacles. Oh my God. In the four of wands. Yes. It's like this person has a moment of vulnerability. King of Wands in reverse where they're like, look, babe, I know I said this. It's not, it didn't work out, woo, 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 but it's a moment of pure like vulnerability. Like the Emperor's in reverse, the King of Wands is in reverse. I am getting heavily lit that this is a masculine energy, okay? 
Okay, yeah, four of pentacles, four of wands. Man, you got this person's back so heavy. <laughs> they don't even know. Yeah, hermit card. Yep. They 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 release, okay? What they've been holding in for so long. Some of you dealing with the Virgo here. Okay? Yeah, seven of wands and the eight of cups. And I don't know if that's because, yeah, look, the chariot, the high priestess, if at some point you do get upset, you know, and, and like leave or, you know, if, this could be the energy of you having restraint and pulling back that this person feels kind of, I don't know, safe enough, I guess, to open up. Not saying you make them feel unsafe. All right, let's pull some guidance for you, Pisces. I feel like we got that message there. The Knight of Wands. The Ten of Wands, ooh, and the devil here. Yeah, the, you're doing the right thing, okay? Um, some of you dealing with the Capricorn. By following your intuition and your flow, okay? This devil, the Ten of Wands here, you're really not taking on this person's burden. So you are giving this person space to work through their own shit because what you don't want to do, right, is be like mommy this person or daddy that or coddle this person you know that's that's love that's love you're like you know what we're and that's connection right two people who are able to give each other the space to go through your own individual life lessons right in a healthy way right and reasonably so but that's that's dope yeah look at that justice and the lovers i love that i love that Okay, let's pull your last moon card, Pisces, and then we're going to be out this thingity thing. What is Pisces' last card? Spirit. Okay, you get to, of course. <laughs> Look at this. The new moon in Libra. It says, no, you are love. That's crazy. Man. And the last quarter moon in Gemini says, clear your mind and that literally feels like the energy that is moving through this connection right now both of these are air signs as well the the gemini the libra energy so there is a lot of mental energy being clear okay and, I, and now i'm hearing cooler heads um prevail okay cooler heads will prevail okay so that is what i have for you at this time pisces i appreciate you i pray these messages find you well and that they are helpful um, please do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you didn't catch the scroll at the bottom, the website is down for a few days for maintenance. So please email me for personal readings in the meantime. You can do that at tarotmonaelena at gmail.com. All right. I appreciate you guys, Pisces. Catch you in the next one. Bye.